Right, in this lesson I'm going to try and solve some division questions um, where there's some remainders. Remainders are just a, a fancy way for saying the bits left over once I've um, shared an amount out. So let's start with this question here. I've got <coughs> 64 toys which I need to share between 7 people. Now I know that 64 won't share evenly between 7 people, so what I'm going to try and do is think of an amount just less than 64, which I can share between 7 people. Well, I know 63 is on my 7 times tables, so I know 63 uh, toys shared between 7 people would give me 9 toys each. So I can write that up here. Each person would get 9 toys. But I notice here I've got 64 toys, and here I've got 63 toys. So I'm going to have one toy left over that I couldn't share into any of those seven groups. So the answer to this question is nine toys remain to one. Let's try this one. Um, this time I've got $87 and I need to share them, or share that money, between uh, nine people. So just like last time, I think of an amount just less than 87, which I know that I could share between nine people. So I'm thinking about my nine times tables. Well, I know that 81 can be shared evenly between 9 people, because 9 times 9 is 81. So 81 shared between 9 means each person would get $9, so I can write that up here. But I also know that I have a little bit more. I've got 87 here, and this one was only 81. So the difference between those two is 6, which means there's 6 dollars which I haven't been able to share out between those nine groups or those nine people. So each of those nine people got nine dollars each and then I was left with six dollars which I just couldn't share out evenly between them. So the answer is nine remained a six. Let's have a look at this one here. This time I've got uh, 32, uh, sorry, 34 tennis balls which I want to share between four people. So, just like last time, I think what question, or what number is close to 34, um, but on my 4 times tables? Well, I know 32 shared between 4 people would mean each person got 8 tennis balls. So I can write the 8 in out here. But you can see that I had uh, a bit more than 32. I've got 34 tennis balls. So that means I've got some tennis balls left over that I can't share out evenly. In fact, I've got two. So each of those four people got eight tennis balls each. That shared out 32, which means I had two more tennis balls left, which I couldn't share out evenly. So I've recorded those as the remainders here. So the answer is eight remainder two. Sometimes it makes sense to uh, show these remainders in a slightly different way. So let's imagine this question here again, but this time we're going to imagine it's 34 whole pizzas, which I want to share between four people. Now we've already, oh, let's draw the four people up here. Now we've already worked out in this question that um, each person would get eight whole pizzas. And that uses up 32 of the pizzas, which meant I had two more pizzas left over here. These squares are, or close to squares, are representing my pizzas. So we could say that everyone um, gets eight pizzas and there's two pizzas uh, left over, or two remainders, but we could express that in a slightly different way. What would happen if we split those pizzas in half? Well, then we could give a half a pizza to him, the other half of pizza to this person, the other half of the pizza to there, and the other half of the pizza to here. So we could also say the answer to this question is eight whole pizzas and half a pizza. So 34 divided by 4 is either equal to 8 remainder 2, meaning two whole pizzas left over, or eight holes and half a pizza eats. And it sort of makes sense. If you think there were four people uh, and there were two pizzas left over, you think you actually had half as much as you needed. If you had two more pizzas, you'd have had enough to give everyone one whole more pizza each. 
let's imagine I had uh, $37 which I wanted to share between 10 people. Just like we've been doing, I think of what number is just below 37 which I can share between 10 people, and the answer is 30. 30 shared between 10 people means each person gets $3. But Obviously I have a little bit more than $3. You can see I've got 37. So that means I must have $7 uh, left over. So you could imagine there's 10 people, each person has been given $3, and then I've got $7 just left over. Now we could also express this remainders in a slightly different way, like we did in the lesson before. $3 with $7 remaining um, is correct, but it might be better to show it in a different way. So I'll record how much each person gets, which is that 3 from over here. Now, how many people do I need to share, it between, to share this money between? Well, the answer is 10. And how much have I actually got to share between those 10? Well, I've only got $7. So I've got 7 tenths of what I need. If I had 3 more dollars, I would have, have enough uh, to give everybody uh, one more dollar, and they'd have four. But as it is, I've only got seven. Now hopefully you'll know from uh, changing fractions to decimals that uh, seven tenths is also the same as 0 0.7. So I could give everyone three dollars and 70 cents. That's where the 70 cents came from. It was seven out of the 10, and this is where the $3 came from. I hope you found this lesson helpful. If you need some more help, check out teachertools.co.nz.